tag team action on the way. We saw a preview of tomorrow night's strong open weight title match. Here we will see a preview of tomorrow's strong women's overweight championship bout. It's a lot of stars in the sky when it comes to stardom. You talk about the icon and IWGP women's champion, Naomi Ritani, the current world of stardom champion, Tan Nakano, or well, the new wonder in I, but to a lot of fans. Julia is the international face of stardom. There you see her emerge behind the toxic spider, Tekra, in front of you. Two thirds of the artists of stardom trios champions. Mafia Bella and Donna Del Mondo. And you want to talk about presence, you want to talk about athletes that, that just look like stars, that act like stars. It's that confidence because they know they can do it in the ring. And for Julia, she smells blood in the water when it comes to NJPW Strong Women's Championship. Stardom, Donna Del Mondo. 第30代アーティスト・オブ・スターダム・チャンピオンチーム世界の毒雲テクーラーアフィジュリア、エチケエシーセン、ルーザ・フィビデン・ドーツ・インターナショナル・スターダム・ストロング、女子王座・次期チャレンジャー、美しき狂気、ジュリアー Post-match media scrum at Forbidden Door 2, Tony Storm on the AEW World Championship. When it, it relates to Julia, and certainly a victory over Willow Nightingale tomorrow will propel her onto the world stage, which she very richly deserves. Herself gave her a puncher's chance to defeat Mercedes Monet. And let's face it, no one gave Momo a puncher's chance against Willow. That's true. But she really showed up in Long Beach, better than she has for a long time, and there's been that knock. And for as much as my pal Mariah May, congratulations on being goddesses of stardom champion, but I have to disagree when it comes to the disrespect that Mariah May has shown Momo Kogo of late. She's a lot tougher than people give her credit. Absolutely. You see a team of underdogs, of course. Willow, this Saturday on Collision, will take on the Ring of Honor World Champion, Athena, in the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament. That's a tough set of matchups, right? Back to back, you thought about Julia, and then turn around to facing Athena, who's on an unbelievable hot streak. Hasn't been beaten since, what, last it's September? Right, nearly 30 in a row just in Ring of Honor. We're at 28, I believe. And the bell's called for, we're gonna start things off. This is your, if this is your first time seeing Julia live, you're in for a treat. 
Beautiful Insanity is the nickname, and it perfectly suits Julia, but forced back into the Rose Bride Willow. And, and for those who aren't as familiar with Julia, that's an unusual sight we just saw to be outpowered, outmuscled. It just shows you just how strong Willow is. We saw Julia absolutely do everything it takes, sacrifice it all for that World of Stardom Championship, the war she went through against Sam Nakano back at Yokohama Arena. And that, Ian, you know, I mean, you talk about women on incredible streaks. And our pal Rob Godwin over at the Stardom cast with a reminder that Julia, that was her only loss oh, she's been dealt this year. The only time she got pinned was by Nakano in Yokohama Arena. Oh, wow. Great STL style move. Willow very quick though, yes. able to get a waist lock out of that arm bar. Very smart yes. move by Willow to fight back yes. out of it. Yes. And Julia's smart here because I think she senses a lot of Willow's power moves come from the lifts, yes. like this right here. Yes. Julia, of course, as well, only just over a week removed from retaining those artists in Stardom Championships along with Tekla. And my Sakurai, who's in their corner here, in a steel cage oh. match. And we are seeing Tekla for the first time now. Toxic Spider, a unique athlete. Oh. No one home, big back fist. A, a truly international affair here on Independence Day. I believe four countries represented. That's right. Representing Austria is Tekla. Swinging Japan, America, and then you've got... Oh, Julia, who's... An Italian Japanese born in London. Wow. Oh, look at that. That spider in the ropes there. The Irish whip, Momo in trouble here. Ducks the clothesline off the ropes. Oh, no, drop hit. And. Oh. Momo not phased here by the spider. I would be. I'd be running at this point. Oh! A lot of the women, the entire Stardom roster was uh, kind of taken aback. Oh man! By Momo Kogo being being selected for that tournament, for the Strong Women's Championship tournament, it was uh, something that came out of the blue and, a, and an opportunity Kogo took with a plum and very, very well. But uh, Julia feeling somewhat affronted and really feels that she should be the worldwide face of that organization. And this, this mayor, this mayor lock here. Ooh, oh no, into the corner. And Julia charging it to Momo. Back elbow, sweeping the leg. And not afraid. Hasn't met a rule she hasn't, hasn't broken, Chris. Nice, she's not really afraid to oh, rub any official come the wrong way. Oh. It is a stardom official, Bob Sasaki, in charge of this one. Oh, forearm, but not a lot on that. Julia has done significant damage to Momo, but continues to fight, continues to fire away. Momo's got a lot of, oh. Oh, a lot of heart. But almost kind of an Eddie Kingston situation where, oh no, look out. Sometimes that temperament gets her out of her mindset and out of her game plan where she's best served wrestling her opponents. Six one nine delivered on Julia, hooks the leg, cover. Two. And a deep two there. Could be an opportunity if she can make the tag, she does to Willa. Will Nightingale in, big close on. Julia sent down. And in a preview of tomorrow night's title match. It is Willow here with Boot. And the champion exerting dominance right now on tomorrow night's challenger. Off the ropes. Willow Spinebuster. Sex Julia. Five minutes, five minutes past. Go and get out. 
Oh, you talked about how nobody gave Willow a puncher's chance against Mercedes, but it wasn't like Willow stole one against Mercedes. Right. She was extremely effective in that match in Long Beach. And Willow has Julia up. Was able to nail two babe with the power bombs. Oh, oh beautiful catch. Oh, look at this, Tekla. Able to take out Momo. Willow powers up and down goes Julia. Cover, hooks the leg. Two. Able to trap Willow right through, right through. Oh, and now she's got both arms that trap there and Tekla right in place to cut off Momo. Two, Willow. Ooh. And rings a Saturn style move from Julia. Close line. No, no one home. Wow. And Julia firing back up. Big drop kick sets Willow down. Julia, another one that has been under the learning tree is that Sabre Jr. back at historic crossover. They were tag team partners. Picked up some submission tips. Tag you know, made. Yeah, Tekla. Oh! A unique artist in the ring and out of it, currently having a, an exhibition in Shinagawa of some of her own artwork and now submission artwork applied to Willow Nightingale. Unfortunately for Willow, she became the canvas as Momo had to break things up. It is Julia who catches Momo here. And hammer a lot. Drive down a reverse heart attack. They see the difference between Willow and Momo, who are opponents. Oh, man! I was going to say, not one month ago in a regular tag team in Mafia Bella, but it doesn't matter. Willow just crunched Tekla, and she's going up top of it. Certainly is. This is where she beat Mercedes Monet. She's not afraid to go up top. It was the idea to force her opponent to make a move. Ooh. And Tekla. Wow, Tekla's trapped. Trapped in that spider web, but I think Willow's the prey here. And someone called Gwen Stefani, because Willow's walking in the spider web. And Julia leaving no doubt about it. Julia following the champion to the oh, outside. Look oh, look out, look out. And it's Tekla. The crowd rallying behind. An executioner kick there. Hooking Willow's leg. Two. Oh, and Momo. And I think Willow's got to make a tag here, Chris. Willow's been in the majority of the match at this point. No doubt about it. And she's getting stretched up oh. and stretched even more. A modified Koji clutch. Oh, Momo. Tekla. Momo just able to stretch in and break that one up. And corner to corner, Momo. No one home on the strike attempt. Oh. See Julia and Tekla now. Great continuity, Irish whip off the ropes. Ducks the double line there. Oh! Cannot duck that! Will looking to go up top once again. Oh, what, what is this though? What is this here? A little bit. What, what in the world, a rocket launcher? From all the way up! Oh, oh, oh. And Momo getting Julia out of the ring! Tekla and Momo! Oh, Chris, it's The babe with the power bomb! 
for Willow Nightingale. Perhaps some earned here tonight in this preview tag. Not only that, but Willow and Momo are just pinned. One third of the artists of Stardom Champions. Now, Chris, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Momo is in Stars, correct? That's right. Well, Stars has always been on the search, always been on the lookout for members that they think can get the artists of Stardom titles. I mean, I, I'm not just putting things out there. As you see, Julia, who will challenge tomorrow night, Willow Nightingale, who is the strong open weight women's champion. The title held high. This will be a clash of two of the very best in the world. Right here at Cork and tomorrow. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Don't mess in this joint. Tomorrow, you and me. And when she comes out here, it's all smiles, but when it's time to get business done, And this could be the start of one of the greatest weeks in women's wrestling history if Willow can thread the needle. A tall task ahead. Julia tomorrow, Independence Day night two. The Ring of Honor World Champion Athena on collision Saturday night. She's one for one. She's got the first one out of the way. Could be the week of a lifetime for Willow. Especially if she can come back across the Pacific title in hand.
New Japan Pro Wrestling returns to San Jose, California on Saturday, January 13th, 2024. See the stars of New Japan, including Zack Sabre Jr., Shingo Takagi, Eddie Kingston, Julia, Will Ospreay, Kazuchika Okada, and many more. Be there live for Battle in the Valley at the San Jose Civic. Tickets available now at Ticketmaster. NJPW Academy at the LA Dojo. Looking to start your journey or add to your existing knowledge? NJPW Academy is the place to be. There's only one place to get New Japan strong, and that's the NJPW Academy. Head to NJPW1972.com for more information. I want you for NJPW Academy. All right, keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce, where's this one going? Parts unknown. Tokon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, Papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. The transformative effect the bloody hands Gedo has had on his charges. None of them represent that more than these two men. Alex Coughlin, my god, is getting kicked. When one and eight, a lousy record in World Tag League. But under Gedo, they've become killers, ruthless. These are dangerous men. You feel it. They're rampaging through this crowd and they haven't been beat since June 10th. Speechless. I remember Alex Coughlin coming to Ring of Honor in January of 2019. He was a young lion. All he wanted was an opportunity. We went to the, this is a man who, who was enthralled at the NASA Museum. We met an astronaut. He had the flights for Philadelphia, New York, Allentown, and Baltimore ready because my wife could have gone into labor at any time. He was a man who was ready to get me to the airport. <laughs> argue with how effective, how dangerous they are in the ring. And this new era of Bullet Club, yes, they've been producing results. And they've been pulling up to the paychecks, getting that pay window. But when it comes to intimidating, run through these crowds, scaring the hell out of the ticket by in public, scaring the hell out of the kids, cursing the blue streak on the mic, you know, I mean, that, that somebody has to draw the line here. Holy Otherwise, what share of the gate do these two men have? Wholly unnecessary. I agree completely. Of course, Gabe Kidd, he was a great story. He, he was fighting through what many of us do with mental illness, mental health, a great comeback, and now just tarnishing it with this behavior. But he and Coughlin could leave with much heavier suitcase than with which they arrived. If they can pick up two victories back to back, they're facing a team who are dual champions, who won the title in a triple threat following the forfeiture due to a knee injury from Mark Davis and Aussie Open. Here tonight, though, only the Blue Strong Championships are on the line. Yeah, we have strong titles on the line tonight. IWGP tomorrow. Either way, as we wish Mark Davis well, no matter what, the header on the contract says for Aussie Open, be it AEW or New Japan Pro Wrestling, Aussie Open will be back in Japan before too long. 
and it will be coming after those champions, whoever it may be. In the meantime, Bishamon has cemented themselves as one of the best, I would have to say, Ian, as the best tag team on the planet here in 2023. They put the conversation. And the AEW Tag Team Champions FTR, they beat FTR in the Tokyo Dome. And the former champions, Aussie Open, they beat Aussie Open in the finals of World Tag League. They beat the Dream Team, Akashi Okada and Hiroshi Tanahashi. There is no bond stronger than between Hiroki Goto and Yoshihashi. But are they strong enough to retain the strong tag team titles? Oh, shut the fuck up! Oh, this is, is just... Yeah. Come on now. No need for that. It, what's so frustrating is that at every turn, they're shooting themselves in the foot, and I admire. Oh, 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 oh man! And this is before the bell, so ring the bell, ring the bell, ring the bell. Well, I, I admire the focus. Oh, cover one, two, go! Oh, man, nearly the shortest match in strong titles history. Oh my goodness! Well, they are right out in front of us here as Kid. I, I get the idea, I get it. Bullet Club were so concerned with selling merchandise that they weren't concerned with getting results. I get that, too sweetening the fans, selling t-shirts, cute. Yeah. Wow. And right in front, right in front there of the daughter of Jim Kasai, the poor little girl is gonna be traumatized enough after our main event, for heaven's sake. Oh my goodness, and, and on the other side, Coglin was just going to work on Hiroki Goto in front of Tanahashi. He was drawing at Tanahashi. No, I, I admire the focus. Let's get on it. Let's get results. Let's bring titles and bring bodies. That's what David Finley said. Oh! But when you're scaring the people out of the building, yeah. you're, you're, the fact is you're just shooting yourself in the foot. You're getting less of the gate. You know I mean? That's where your money comes from is these people. And look at Taito trying to get things back on track here. And Gabe Kidd with a chair. The bell has rung, so Taito has every right. And you're having to spend half of that paycheck on fines. And re replacing the chairs replacing here. Replacing the chairs. Look after your laptop over there. Yeah, right. taking a look right now. Oh, oh Goto on the other side, up the hands. Back up those huge palm strikes. It's Coglin and Goto. Oh, Ribbon into the gate, into the guardrail as Yoshihashi eats guardrail to the ribs. And now they're, they're, they're calling for, two. for the count to break it. They'll break it. They want to keep up that punishment. Gay Kid knows exactly what he's doing right there in front of Jun Kasai's beautiful daughter, Kota Chan. Sending Yoshihashi back in. And oh, and now a tag. Yeah, now after all that, a tag. Yeah, it's Gabe Kid with Yoshihashi. And this isn't just. Oh, oh. Well, he might be out. Yeah, but, you know, one has to. Wonder, you know, I mean, years ago, Katsuyori Shibata would say his biggest project was trying to draw fire out of Alex Coughlin. He always used to call Coughlin like a, a giant human baby because he was so happy, so, so, you know, all the time for someone so big. And it's been ghetto, it's been Bullet Club, this spell that they've had over these men to draw the killer out of that man. And as kid, sending Hashi. Continual assault on the outside from Coglin. And the boom, the heel to the skull. Hey, get the fuck off of me. I said stop it. No, you don't, you don't need to talk your title like that. This is, 
Yeah, uncalled for. Yeah, you know, I mean, Gabe, when he was through those, going through those struggles, that, you know, like you mentioned, and, and you know, I, mean, I was in touch with him at the time. Yeah, no. There was no question in my mind, there still is no question, Gabe Kidd is a generational talent. Turn pro at 11. He's wow. still not 25 oh. and he's in this position. But he might be just ripping up his career in the long term with this attitude that he has right here. Well, it's, it's the game of short term versus long term. And, and what is scary about tonight oh, is that Kidd and Coughlin have, have shown not only are they looking at tonight's match, but there's part of me that wonders if they're okay accepting a disqualification, if they're okay risking it, because they know just the volume of damage that they're able to Oh, come on. The volume of damage they may be able to inflict will pay dividends tomorrow as well. Let's go, Ale. Come on. And Yoshihashi fires back, trying to force a comeback against Coglin. But even if he does, we can see it. There's no Goto to tag right now. He's on an island here. So many times it's been those, those bonds, that deep friendship that Yoshihashi and Hiroko Goto have had. And the relationship he has with these people here. First time I called a Yoshihashi match, it was against Kenny Omega, Chicago, Illinois. 3,600 strong, one of the largest Ring of Honor New Japan joint crowds to date. He saw the heart then. And I know he's not going to give up, but Coglin may try to force the issue. This offense has been relentless. Yoshihashi had a long 12 year climb to win his first championship in New Japan Pro Wrestling. But then when he did, this is what we saw for him. Ten defenses over a year, never openweight six-man champions. And now, double tag team champions. And Goto getting the crowd involved. It's Coglin. It's Yoshihashi. Gabe Kidd with the tag, and now it's Hiroki Goto. Shoulder tackle sends Kidd down. And Goto has some time to catch his breath, to get his energy up. You're seeing, you feel the impact. That's what everybody says. Every single thing Goto does to you hurts, hurts like hell. This elbow oh, among them. In the lower half, one, two. Two count there. Yeah, that was a couple of centimeters away from Kojima uh, the, the Kojima special. But Goto doesn't own that technology either. It's Goto now. Yeah! Looking. Maybe for Ushigoroshi here. Kid scouted it well enough. I think Goto opened up, I think, on his left elbow. So that attacks happening on the outside of the ring. There, there's just a large chunk of skin missing. You're absolutely right, Chris. Yeah, the two men exchange forearms. Both have strong bases, neither punching here. It's Koto with the advantage, firing back. Shot. Kid, double clothesline. And the blister chest of Goto absorbs the clothesline from Kid as he tries to drive one through his opponent. Oh man, and neither man gave it an inch. Oh, what a shot. What a shot and another. Just in time, Yoshihashi sensing the momentum change in this match. Getting up on the apron for his partner. Coglin nowhere to be seen. Kid's gonna have to stay in on this one. Tag made, it's Yoshihashi and the legal man. Listen to this. And the sweat popping off of the breastplate.
sending the lungs of Kid into shock. And this is what happens so often in World Tag League. Gay Kid and Ice Cog, they're coming in oh, with all the fire in the world, but when the momentum turned against them, this is where the true test lies. Headhunter. Got, hooks the leg. Two. Much like we said about Yoshihashi though, Gabe Kidd has a near endless gas tank and he doesn't have the word quit in his vocabulary. As the match now has settled from its raucous pace into a chess match here. Yoshihashi thinking Kumagoroshi. And there you see, Kid got free, went right to his corner, but Coglin wasn't there for him. Oh! That's the difference between champions and contenders. And here we go, Violent Flash on the way. Got it! The champs have Kid in a bad way. Yeah, and they're unopposed. Might be night-night for Gay Kid. Now Coglin's here. Coglin, just for the nick of time. High waist logging. Yoshihashi Goto wipes out Coglin. Coglin sent back to the outside. Goto with Kid again. And a flash. And straight into Shoto. The lights will go out. No, they won't, not yet. Fighting on instinct is Kid. Kid, big suplex on Goto. The legal man, Yoshihashi, gave Kid. Lariat blocks straight right from Kid. It's Yoshihashi staggering in the ropes now. Big open hand to the spine. Off the rope. Oh! Kick the levers on the Kid. Kid showing so much spirit right now, but the blistered, wilted chest of Kid tells the story. Kid has spent an awful long time in the ring. Oh, big knee. Catches Yoshihashi. Oh, no, Kid. Wipes out Coglin. The roll up, too. Oh, man. Oh. No. And in a split second. Kid, two. Oh, so close. Wow. It was a split second where Taito was telling the timekeeper, too. Coglin was there with a the chair. And Goto, trying to fight out. Goto, the Lariat blocked. Lariat blocked. And a double oh. choke slam. The War Dogs have clawed their way back into this. And I do not envy Taito's job right now. Yeah, you try counting five to these two. We've seen this before, a double muscle buster. And Yoshihashi, the lights went out in his eyes. The lights went out in his eyes. And this will decide it all. They call it the hijack pal driver, a brutal spike tombstone. And Coglin and Kid have gotten all of it. Leg hook to we got new champions! Kid with obvious chips on their shoulders. Uh, when you see, I, I, I don't think this is the best political play here. Certainly not, and what disrespect. A, yeah, the, the sponsor, the great sponsors at, at Lek Corporation, Nagamori san the, the president of that company, has been invited to present the titles to the champions. This might be a dangerous incident. Gabe Kitok 
アレックス・コブリングミニレック株式会社代表取締役社長永森隆樹様よりチャンピオンベルトが贈られます。I think me working in the office, my heart skipped to be just there. So you just don't know what these two men might do. And we saw at times through that match, Ian, how these two are nowhere near as、right. cohesive a team as Bishmon is.、Oh. And yet, and yet, they were able to do this. Oh, come on. And this is the play for tomorrow night as well. And, and there may be permanent damage done here. And Goto is just out on the outside. And, and the Young Lions trying to step in as best they can. But this chip on the shoulder has propelled the violence from the War Dogs. Look, on a team wide basis, they're, they're at a they're 7 out, out of 10.、Yeah. And yet, on their first try, they've steamrolled the Strong Tag Team Champions. That's how frightening these two men are. Well, it's natural talent, natural ability to drive to work as individuals. And they're going to go up from here. And it starts tomorrow. And look at Coughlin again, staring a hole through Tanahashi. No respect. This could be the makings of one of the most dangerous teams we've seen in New Japan in quite some time on raw talent. And I, I hate to say it, perseverance. Gabe Kidd was left dead to rights. This is, this is like, you, know, you talk about your Hanson and Gordy's, you know, this is that sort of situation. He's a hungry. Frightening man, don't give him a microphone. Yeah, we, don't, we don't need this. We don't、this. need this. Hey, hey, hey. What you're looking at here is the New Japan Strong Openweight Tag Team Champions. And tomorrow, we're going to be New Japan Strong Openweight Tag Team Champions and IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. Say less, that's my dog for real. Yoshihashi, Goto, fuck you. Come on. Find him right now. Tax his paycheck. Well, the thing is, they don't care. They don't care if they get fined. They really don't. And there's nothing you can do about it. And it's. I'm disappointed in both of these men. No. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. This should have been different. This should have been. I've known this man for five years. I, I've been proud of this man. He, he was willing to miss out on paydays on trips to get me home in case my daughter was born. He, unbelievable. Get in here, Ale. Get in here, man. Well, give me one of these real quick. Give me one of these. What did we say? What did we say was going to happen? Oh, wait, what did we say what was gonna happen? We said we were gonna come to Corican Hall, beat the shit out of Bishamon, and walk out with both set of tag team titles. Now, what I see right here is the New Japan Strong Openweight Tag Team titles. But forget these a minute. Forget these. We're on to the next, on to the next, tomorrow, Ashta, whatever the fuck you wanna call it, IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. They're the belts with the real lineage. Some real legends held them belts. And you got two more standing right here who's going to be holding them alongside these tomorrow. Now, Ali, I know you don't usually talk in this, but you tell them, man. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them what it took. Tell them what it took to get to this. 
<laughs> Tell them about all the nights, sitting there broke, no money, having to do a thousand squats the next day. Hey, fuck that! Tell them exactly what we went through. Five years. It's five years to the day, actually, that me, Clark, Carl, Eddie, we signed our contracts. Went to the LA dojo, changed our lives for some bullshit, man. Bullshit. Did over 3,000 squats one day. I otsukari all my samadeshas. I did every fucking thing I had to do. F this is what, my fourth time in Japan? F we got fucked by the pandemic. We got fucked you by the company. Me. We got fucked by this country, man. We did everything right. He was here for a year and a half. He was here alone for an extra year and a half. For what? And how we, did they thank us? How did they, how did they thank us this year? Were we at Wrestle Kingdom? No. Mm. Were we at the New Japan Cup? No. We at Sakura Genesis, will we fuck? Kept us home six months, are you daft? Are you stupid? This, this is the future. I'm seeing all these articles, all this chit chat, all this bullshit about Suji, Narita, Shota, Kiyomiya. He, he doesn't even fucking work here. And he's getting more press than us. Are you mad? Are you mad? Three years in the dojo, two years in the dojo, and we're coming to take exactly what's ours. It doesn't make any fucking sense, man. We did everything. And then the second we listen to David Finley and we come here and kick everyone's fucking ass, this is what happened. We could have been doing this the whole time. But you know what? No use crying over spilled milk. We took the belts today. We're gonna take the other belts tomorrow, and we're gonna kill everybody after that. We're on a streak. Say less. Oh, that's my dog, for real. For real. For real. Move out the fucking way.